loaded the hopper all the way up to the top and started a stopwatch. Temperature is still maxing out in the oven. I'm just gonna see how long it will run with the back completely filled with pellets. Then we can really see if this trick will work so you don't have the lulls in between your pizzas or when the pellets burn out. Because when the pellets burn out, it's a pain getting it lit again. But if you can put so many pellets in here without choking it out, that where it'll just burn for 20, 30, 40 minutes without stopping, that's gonna really up your pizza game. What's up everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. For all you new people, welcome aboard. Today we're gonna to be learning how to light your Bighorn pizza oven and keep that fire burning very easily using something that you might have sitting around your house or you can pick up on Amazon for the cheap. We're gonna be using this little fan right here. It plugs in using kind of like a USB into one of the little cubes that you use to charge your phone. You can also buy ones with built-in batteries and you don't even have to worry about the cords. I just happen to have this one on hand. We're gonna be utilizing this two-speed fan to add some air across our fire to help us get this thing lit and then control the burn so it doesn't go out or smoke. All right, so we're gonna start off by lighting the pellets using my kind of standard method the propane torch on a DOT 39. It's a one cup measuring cup. I'm gonna put two in there. Now we'll hit it with the torch. Now this first little bit with the torch takes anywhere between 45 seconds and a minute and a half, depending on how damp or moistened your pellets might be. I'm not gonna lie, these ones are a little wet, so this will be a really good test of this method. I like to sort of concentrate in one area until I get some good flames going and then move to another. And then periodically just retouch all the places that I had burning. Once we got a good little portion of our pellets lit, we're gonna let them burn on the countertop for about five minutes. They'll probably end up smoldering out, but that's where the fan's gonna come in. Well, it's been just about five minutes and much to no one's surprise, the little flame's out and it's smoking up. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in this fan and just start off on the lowest setting and see if we can get this lit again. You can see pretty much immediately, as soon as the fan hits it, the coals start to amber up and we're getting a flame again. I'm gonna put it on the highest setting and just get this really good and lit. Now this is a cheap Chinese plastic fan, so be careful when you're doing this, all right? You don't wanna melt the fan or burn your hand off. All right, let's stop that there and see what that gave us. That's a nice little flame. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this into the back of the big horn, I always like to open up this little feed ramp. And then I'm gonna put the fan right here on its lowest setting. That's gonna provide a nice little draft to help get the rest of these lit. And then we can start adding in pellets and checking the temperature. I do have my handy fluke infrared temperature. I know a lot of people like using these, so we're gonna use it and see what it do. So the fan's right here and it's blowing in. You can see it's got some nice flames. Watch what happens when I take the fan away. See the flames, they're still burning, but not quite as uh, consistently and hard. So we're gonna go ahead and give a little bit more wind back in there. See how all those coals kind of ember up? I think this fan trick's gonna work good. Go ahead and take the door off and get an initial temperature reading. All right, so we're reading about 100 to 130 degrees right now on the floor of the oven. You can see how I got the fan tilted up a little bit so that way it can blow into the underside of the oven because down there is where the little uh, ventilation holes are 
for the firebox. Let's go ahead and close this feed ramp. We are right at about 10 minutes. It's been five minutes on the countertop, five minutes inside the oven, and the flames are looking very healthy. We already kind of got a little bit of flames tickling the roof. Let's go ahead and do a thermometer check and see what we're at temperature wise. So we are already somewhere between 400 and 500 degrees. So we're preheating pretty quick for only 10 minutes in. The flame's looking good enough. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add more pellets and then maybe see about turning the fan up to the high setting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close the feed ramp. I'm kind of doing like a little stress test here. I filled it just all the way to the top with pellets, about three cups. And we'll see if this smothers it out or if this little bitty fan keeps this oven chugging along. Man, isn't it annoying when these pellets get stuck in the feed ramp hinge? It's hard to get a good feed ramp these days. Even though it looks like none of those pellets are lit in the back because when you open this up, you don't see anything burning. Check out what the inside of the stove looks like right now. Oh man. All right, so at minute seven, after our addition, 17 minutes total, we had flames coming out the top of the stack. Three minutes later at 20 minutes total preheat time, hit it with the fluke and the fluke maxed out. I believe this fluke goes up to around 900 degrees. So the oven is hot. It's preheated after 20 minutes. So we're good to start cooking pizzas. But just to kind of continue this on a little further, I think I'm gonna lower the fan speed down to low and fill the hopper up to the top again. You can see inside there, it's burnt just about everything that we've added. So we'll go ahead and try and choke it out one more time and see if this fan thing is the fix to all your problems. I just loaded the hopper all the way up to the top. I started a stopwatch. Temperature is still maxing out in the oven. I'm just gonna see how long it will run with the bag completely filled with pellets. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the fan trick. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And as always, all the products you see are gonna be in affiliate links down in the description. Even if you don't wanna buy anything, just click around. It helps me out, helps support the channel, keep this thing going. Cause them pellets ain't free, homie. The Bighorn has been running now for 16 minutes without any pellet additions. Flames out the top the whole time. Temperature gun maxed out on the stone. So this is gonna be the final test to see if this really works. And is that, will it get the flames going again once the flames are out and all you have is smoldering coals on the inside of the oven? Let's find out. The flames are pretty much non-existent, just some glowing coals down there at the bottom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start a stopwatch and we'll put the fan on high put it back to where we had it when we first lit it and we'll see how long it takes to get our flames back out the top if it'll rejuvenate that out flame back into a roaring bighorn pizza oven. See what happens if I work the flame up just into these back vents. That might be the move right there. That might be the move. Oh, flame just popped. 
All right, we are lit again. So it took us all but about two minutes to get that flame going again in the big horn. This is definitely the move. You gotta pick up one of these fans if you're gonna be big horning around the yard. Thanks a lot for coming by, guys. Big shout out to Silver Shadow. He's the one that kind of gave me the idea to do this. So I'm glad that he was able to interact and give me some more content and some things that'll help the greater community, guys. We're all in this together, trying to make the best pizzas in the backyard. So comment, comment, comment. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. Till next time, peace.